I say tell everyone everything. Why cover anything up? Right? How to describe Frank? One, two, three, four! Well, there's the head, of course. He never takes it off. You think it's weird? Would it help if I said my facial expressions out loud? Welcoming smile. Delighted look. But what goes on inside the head inside <gasps> that head? I find this inspiring. Is music. Something is pressing something is! Frank, people should know about you. You should be famous. A flattered grin, followed by a bashful half smile. Stop saying your facial expressions out loud, it's extremely annoying. We've been offered a really important gig, South by Southwest, in Texas. People are interested in us. We could be big. What game are you playing? Filling Frank's head with these bullshit ideas? I can't hear you over the sound of the bubbles. Someone needs to punch you in the face. Here we go. It's gonna be huge. You gotta come see us tomorrow night. I promise we'll be battle at Frank's not okay. Frank, come back! With all his issues, 100% sanest cat I've ever met. Oh, oh, the oh, okay. The head. Take it off. I have a certificate. Take it off! Here it is. My most likable song ever. Coca-Cola, lipstick ring, go dance all night, dance all night. Kiss me, just kiss me. Kiss me, Nefertiti. This is your most likable song ever? <laughs> yeah. People will love it. come from this is brilliant i am blown away and the fact that's michael fassbender in there wow and not only does he look like he is nailing this like this is just like a genius bit of acting like move over johnny depp apparently you're not the only one who has a license for crazy uh i mean it looks like that good like johnny depp level good which is just thrilling and i would also you know what else it reminded me of Ryan Gosling and Lars in The Real Girl, where that's the movie where he fell in love with a blow-up doll. And he just totally took it seriously, and as an actor, just really approached that role as he would any other role. And it was really commendable, and I think it's one of the things that started to really, you know, put you know, Ryan Gosling on Hollywood's map and audience's map, at least, you know, give him his cult fan base. Now, of course, Michael Fassbender is already on Hollywood's map and he's already on everybody's map. My Michael Fassbender is a big star. So what makes this movie fascinating is this head he's wearing because he's found a way to remove his celebrity and just have you behold his personality, his strength of, his force of character. And, and he, and there's a lot there, it's very strong. And I mean, he's able to use these great body movements. I mean, you don't think of like these, um, you know, classically handsome actors as being able to do this kind of work, this character work. And I, as I said, Johnny Depp is a good example. I think that's why Johnny Depp so often puts himself in costume with the makeup and the hair and the bold choices, you know, fashion choices, Jack Sparrow, uh, you know, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Uh, you know, I think Johnny Depp in his own way hiding. But Michael Fassbender has found an even more interesting way to hide. And I just find it fascinating. Now, of course, he has a great supporting cast here. I think that Maggie Gyllenhaal looks like she's doing a great job. I'm a big Scoot McNary fan ever since I saw him in Killing Them Softly. I think he has a, he's a very talented actor. I'm just waiting for that big role for him to come along. Hopefully he's getting closer and closer. But it also has uh, Dom Nol, I think that's how you pronounce his name, Dom Hall uh, Gleason from About Time. And I watched that movie, actually. I missed it in theaters, but, you know, I actually watched it. I rented it. Um, right around Valentine's Day, actually. And it was a pretty good Valentine's Day movie, even though it ended up kind of being ridiculously depressing. But anyway, on to this movie. He was very good in that film. So I'm really great. I'm really happy to see him pop up somewhere else. I think that's uh, just fantastic. Great for him. I'm so excited. But this movie, this movie, I think this movie, as I said, it's going to be something special. And I'm just, and the fact it was able to stay off of the radar for so long uh, is also equally impressive. Usually these things kind of like, leak out and you know you know they you can hear about them and they just and they don't come as quite a surprise and quite a shock but for a movie like this just to pop up out of nowhere uh is instantly on, you know at the top of my list of things that i'm excited to see so can't wait very excited and i'm excited for this potentially potentially new chapter in fastbender's career uh i think it's going to be amazing and i hope this movie can now that's the big next big hurdle is this movie going to be as good as this trailer and i do think that song by the way is 
probably one of the most most fun I've ever heard. So, you know, you have Napoleon Dynamite aspects here. I think you might have a lot of people, I mean, hello Halloween. Uh, the, the, ch the chance for this to enter the pop culture consciousness is, it is strong with this one. So I love it. Are you guys as impressed as I am? What do you think of Michael Fassbender being under that mask? Is that a brilliant idea or a waste of a perfectly good Michael Fassbender movie? Do you want to see his face? Is that why you pay to see a Michael Fassbender movie? And what do you think of my Johnny Depp comparison? Uh, do you agree that maybe it's that good? Uh, write your thoughts down below and you can check out some more episodes, including some more trailer reviews, right now.